Hi there, I'm Duncan, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to use the Hershey Text extension for Inkscape, created by Evil Mad Scientist Labs. I'm going to be talking about Hershey Text in the context of pen plotters, but the same principles are pretty much true for CNC machines, laser cutters, embroidery machines, and much more. So Hershey Text is a tool that converts normal computer fonts, or outline fonts, into stroke fonts. But what is a stroke font, and why would you want one? Well, most modern computer fonts are outlines that are normally displayed or printed with a fill. In this video, I'm using Fira Sans as an example, which was released under an open source license in 2013 and is used a lot by Mozilla and weirdly the New Zealand government. Stroke fonts, on the other hand, consist of strokes, not fills, which is very handy if you're using a machine like a pen plotter that can only draw lines. Compare these examples. The first couple are written in the outline font, Fira Sans, once in regular and once in light. You can see that even though it's a pretty thin font, the plotter is drawing an outline around the letter. If you were holding a pen, you wouldn't ever do this. It would be slow and a waste of ink. The third example here is a stroke font called EMS Readability. Here you can see the plotter is just drawing the lines like you would if you were holding a pen, much more efficient. So to get the plotter to write text like you would with a pen, we use Hershey text to convert normal outline fonts into stroke fonts. If you're curious, Hershey text is named after Dr. Alan Vincent Hershey, who developed a collection of stroke fonts in 1967 to be rendered on early cathode ray tube displays, like the ones used in early video games like Asteroids. They were published in a report called Calligraphy for Computers. Let's talk about how to use the software. Hershey text is part of the AxiDraw software package, but if you want to download it on its own, you can find a link in the description below. Install it by following the instructions on the download page. Once installed, you'll find it under Extensions, AxiDraw Utilities. It's pretty easy to use. Select the text you want to convert, select a stroke font to convert it to, and then hit Apply. Unlike the main font list on your computer, the Hershey text extension doesn't scan the stroke fonts you have available. It always just shows the same list of fonts. If you've got extra stroke fonts installed, you'll need to select other in the drop-down box and then write the name or path into the box below. You can tick preserve original text to keep the original text on the page. I usually do this in case I want to change the text later because it isn't possible to edit the text once it's been converted to a stroke font. You can also tick the live preview box to get a preview of what your change is going to look like before you make it. That's useful if you want to compare different fonts before you choose one. The first tab is where you're going to spend most of your time in Hershey Text, but there are a few utilities in the tab called Utilities, which you might find handy. The Generate a Font Table option lets you compare how a chunk of text is rendered in all the different stroke fonts. You can hit Apply to display it. The Generate Glyph Table option lets you see all the glyphs, meaning characters, included in a single stroke font, the one you selected on the main tab. Again, hit Apply to display it. Finally, a quick note that if you want to find more stroke fonts, there's a nice collection on GitLab curated by Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories. Visit gitlab.com slash slash svg hyphen fonts. There's a link in the description below. I'd love to hear about any favorite stroke fonts that you found anywhere else on the web, or which stroke fonts included with the software are your favorites. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.